Good morning. My name is Mike Grubb, President and CEO of the Southern Gas Association. We're excited to simulcast the documentary Switch. The SGA Executive Council has previewed this documentary and they agree it is factual and unbiased and a great look at the energy industry today. It offers up a good balance of all energy sources and cues up natural gas as a big part of the future going forward. Watch and text in your questions over the next 90 minutes. At the end of the documentary, Dr. Scott Tinker and the director of the documentary, Harry Lynch, will join us for a live Q&A session with our SGA members. Enjoy the program. Uh, hi everybody, thank you for watching Switch uh, on the uh, SGA network. Uh, my name is Harry Lynch, I'm the director of the film. Uh, you'll recognize this guy next to me is Dr. Scott Tinker, the star of the film. Uh, we're happy to work with Southern Gas Association to, uh, to bring this to all of you and we thank you for tuning in to watch. So uh, let's go to some questions. The first question, is it cheaper and or more environmentally responsibility, responsible to power a car via gasoline or electricity, in parentheses, generated by coal? Want to take that? You know, that's a good question, one we get quite often, and, and the answer, unfortunately, isn't, uh, isn't a cheaper or, or, or a more expensive. It, it a lot depends on where you get the coal, how you generate the electricity, how far you have to transmit the electricity, do you get line loss, et cetera. Um, at the vehicle itself, you know, that electric motor is very efficient. Driving the Tesla was, well, we laugh and tell this story. It goes zero to 60 in 3.6 seconds. We did it 11 times. We had just, to get it just, just to right. Be, just to be sure it actually did it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, you know, what an engine, uh, or a motor, not even an engine, what a motor. And so Harry looked at me after that scene and said, is this the future of vehicles? And, and it's hard to not think about that as you're driving a vehicle that doesn't have any gears and is so efficient. But all the things that have to happen to get, whether it's natural gas into a vehicle, gasoline into a vehicle, electrons into a vehicle, pre and then post uh, contribute to that. So the studies we, we've so, uh, seen and read, you know, they show them pretty, pretty close, depending again on the source, how far you have to transmit um, environmentally and cost-wise, but overall, the electric motor is probably a little more efficient and probably a little bit cleaner in a pure emissions, uh, in a pure emissions sense. Yeah, that's the, the studies that I've seen basically say that. Uh, it's not a huge difference, but the electric motor, even if it's, the electricity is generated by coal, uh, is cleaner. And uh, a lot of that has to do with the efficiency of the, of the electric system in the vehicle, which is at least two times as efficient as the gasoline system. 